Yeah, um, I'm Toby, you're... Um, it's Verdi, Kieran Verdi. That's the one. I'll take your yeah. badge. You can take whatever you like, mate. All right. Um, right, a couple of questions, first of all. Uh -huh. um, who printed this off? The baby clock. It should say at the bottom who's printed it off. Right, so that, that's what was uh, issued to the uh, property yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, it was put through yesterday. It wasn't put through yesterday at all. That was put through a long time, off, long time ago. Right. Okay. But, but this, January, January, we, I spoke to the court earlier, and they said you said earlier you put eight o'clock on all of these documents. Yes, you do. Yes. That's right, okay. the time you need to leave the property by. But the eviction will take. The eviction will take place. You need to leave the property by. Yeah. And you can go to the council and be rehoused. No, no. It says there the eviction will take place at eight a.m. But yes. when we spoke to the court, it was ordered booked for 12 o'clock. What yes, document? That's, what? The, time that we, that's the time yeah, that we will meet the claimants. Right. They need to leave the property at 8 o'clock. What document have you got that you're relying upon to be trespassing on the property as we stand? We're not trespassing on the property, we have a warrant for the land. Can I, can I have a look at that, please? Right, so this is the warrant number. So what is the date that warrant was obtained? Because I believe that warrant number is the same warrant number that has already been executed. Um, I know. Two years ago? It wasn't executed two years ago. This warrant was, Wait, this, this warrant was issued on the 26th of July 2023. Yeah, so that, so there was an attempt... Oh, there wasn't an attempt. There, wasn't, there, was a, there was a discrepancy with the... What's that, mate? That's mine, thank you. Um, there was a, a, an issue, the last time they, the bailiffs attended, there was an issue with the address. It only had 35C on it. The actual order is for the whole whole property, 35, right. and that's why it it wasn't executed last time. So this the, is a, the claimants have had, of, had the possession warrant amended, 35, and that's why we're here. Right. right. So where is the actual order that grants your authority to take possession? Because that's a warrant. That's just a warrant. Yeah. Yep. The order's at the court. That's. Well, you, 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 well, we don't need to carry, carry the order. To, to we don't prove, need to carry the you, order. You need to prove that you've got authority to be here. There's the warrant. We've that, got the, we've under, possession of the warrant, the possession of the land. We but, have the authority but, to be here. But even in the criminal courts, a warrant, the possession order, we, the eviction we order. Are, we're, we're not criminal court. We're civil court. Yes, I know. There's this, no this seal. Been proven. There is a seal. There's no. Oh, and here, there's, there's no, no seal. Doesn't have to be a seal on there. Yes, it does. On CPR. No, there doesn't. Well, that's yes, it does. It's not, have, it's not an eviction order. That's a notice you, of an appointment. You, you need to provide. It does not have to be you a seal need to provide on that a sealed order, notice of eviction by the court for possession. That would have been sent to. The, that would have been sent to these premises by the court. It doesn't come from us. It comes from the court no, itself. No, because you're enforcing it. You have you're, to prove you. you no, you need to mm. prove. You, you need to provide that. You need to prove that you've got the authority yes. by the documentation that you're enforcing. Uh, can you move off that property, please? It's not. No, you're trespassing. There's vulnerable people in there. There's vulnerable people in there. There are vulnerable people. Can you move, please? There are vulnerable people. Do you want us to phone the police on you? You know. You can you phone the police? What's happened? Can you? you know we're phoning the, the police. You know what's There's happened. vulnerable ladies in there. Good, the police. If you know there are vulnerable you ladies. Well, I, I see. I, I tell you what. Like I, I used to. You can you, know you move, please? This is a. Could you phone the police on this man, please? He's trespassing. He's trespassing. You've got vulnerable ladies in there. Are you going to prevent us from entering our property today? You are not allowed to use force. Unless you can provide us with the authority and the order signed. So you are obstructing an officer of the court. You are not allowed to use yeah? for a high no, court. Well, do my right to ask you to, for you to provide the authority you're relying upon to be trespassing on this property, or what you're relying upon that you believe that you've got your authority to force entry to that property. Well, we can go if, if you want us to go back to the court and get a copy of the order. We're more than happy. On a residential property. On a residential on a residential property, you are not allowed to force entry, high court or county court. Let's not have too many people talking at the same time. There's under CPR 40.40.40.4. It states and you've got the CPR on your phone, haven't you? That that's the order has to have a seal. 
right. from the court. What that, we will that, do that, that warrant. If, if that's if that's what yeah. you're saying, okay, yeah. I'm more than happy to go back yeah. to the court and get a copy of the order, bring it back here, I don't, and show it, and show I it don't to you, want, and then this is you are all. I'm, 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 believe it or not, I'm trying to look after both of you because I want to make sure that you don't do anything unlawful or illegal. We are not doing anything unlawful <coughs> or illegal at all. But if this goes into the criminal court, it will get proven beyond reasonable doubt that you never had authority with that documentation. You never had authority to force right. or take the property. That's. I know you're following orders, and you're and you've you. Might have done right, this, then, mate. You might have done okay. this before, but this is, just because you've done it before and it's common practice doesn't mean to say it's legal or lawful. I'm because just, I'm just people... making sure that you do your due diligence. I know for a fact, criminally and civilly, that you have to provide and produce the order from the court with the name of the judge that has granted the order, that's given you authority to take the possession or evict. The, 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 the occupants okay. of this well, I'm willing to go back to the court yeah. now and get a copy of that order and bring it back. Can you, can you also okay. confirm that you're aware that as a High Court enforcement or a County Court bailiff, you are not allowed to force entry to a residential property? That's in the House of Commons. The warrant of possession of land gives the claimant's agent... Where is the claimant's agent? Hang on, Tope. What, what's it, what's it give them? No, the it doesn't the give you right to force entry. Can you provide the authority that you're here representing the bank, please, via documentation that's been... No, I need the physical... You need to produce the physical documentation that the claimant has authorised you to act for the claimant. And what is the name of the claimant? Because the Bank of Scotland... The Bank of Scotland is a company, it's a corporation, it's a building, so it needs to be the name of the claimant that has authorised you as a name. What's your name, please? Marco. Mark what? Marco. Marco what? Marco Cella. Cella. Marco Cella. And who do you work for? I represent the bank. Yeah, no, who do you work for? Because you're a locksmith, so you work yeah. for a company. What company do you work AMG for? AMG Maintenance. AMG Maintenance, and where are they based? I don't know. What town? Where's your, where's your, where's your office? My office in, in East London. Right, office, yeah, but what's the, the address? Because we, ne I, we need to see proof. Because these guys can't... Oh. Hold on a minute. These guys can't full entry to the property until you pr satisfy these two guys that you have been got instruction and been authorised... Are you... The cli hold on, hold on, by, by the, the claimant. claimant. Yeah, so by, the, by the claimant. Provable. AMG. Now, the claimant has instructed you. The name of the person that's brought the claim, his name instructing you to act on his behalf. Because it's almost like power of attorney. He's given you his instruction for you to act, for him not being here today, it's almost like him giving power of attorney to you to act for the claimant. And unless these two guys are satisfied that you've got valid documentation to prove that you're acting in the, the warrant, capacity. Valid, valid, valid. No, no, no. Are, are, are you legally trained? Are you legally trained? Hold on. Are you? Hold on. I used to advise government on property hold on. fraud and money laundering. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's, not, let's not divert away from this. Listen, can we, get, can we keep it on point? These guys have got a job to do, and providing that the warrant, the notes of eviction, is being lawfully executed, execu given to them, authorised by the court, for them to carry out. I'm, I'm they, a layer, so I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that. I know, Marco, Marco, let me explain to you what the process is, because I understand the civil procedure rules and due process. To make, I, I know exactly what box needs to be ticked to get it to where it gets to. And you, if you're acting as an agent for the bank, for the claimant, you need to satisfy these two guys because they can't just come and take the Are you aware of the Criminal Law Act 1967, Section 41, assisting offenders evade arrest and prosecution? What Lloyds Bank is doing is the same. What Lloyds Bank is doing is the same as the Postmasters. We have lots of evidence on Clearway. Are you with them as well? Don't film me, mate. Oh, we're in public. We're on a path, so don't we can do me. that. We can do that. I'm telling you, don't film me. We can do that. I'm telling you, look, back off. It's a public path. Back off. It's a mate. public path. Back off. It's a public path. I'm telling you, back off, mate. It's a public path. I'm not going to touch you. This is a theft. It's criminal. It's criminal. No, you're trying to make me feel fucking small. No, I work. I work. Oh, oh, I work with police officers and crime commissioners. Something to do with me. I've got your picture anyway. I don't care. Well, I don't really I've care. I've got a picture of you in my. Bank, oh, well, that's yeah. nice. Oh, well, that's nice don't for you. Don't push me. Don't push me, mate. Are you threatening me? I'm not. I'm not. Are you threatening me? 
I'm just saying, go away. I'm videoing me. Are you involved with this? Are you involved with the fraud? You're right. So I would be very grateful if I could be kept informed as things progress. To be honest with you, so as you're not a party to the case, no, as, no. as these gentlemen aren't either, no. we are, we're no, not obliged I appreciate to... That. Um, just, we're we're law-abiding citizens. Yeah, Good. Yeah. That's, I'm really pleased you are, but you're not a party to, to this. Are, are you aware of really the post office frauds? Because this is the same. This is the same. This is the same. Well, as well as I'm others. Okay. Do you understand 2006 Fraud Act? We're going to go back to the court. Yeah. We're going to try and we're going to get a copy of the order and yeah. all that. Okay. If I can just quote a case, which is uh, Regina versus White. Now, this is the one of the prominent cases. To be, to be honest, I'm not interested in yeah. other cases. I'm interested no, no. in this. No, all, all it is. What I'm going to do now. What I'm going to do now. We're going to withdraw. We're going to go back to the court. Okay. Yeah. We're going to speak to the claimant as to why we haven't done it now. We will get the bit of documentation and we will provide <laughs> your friend with yep. the, the correct documentation yep. as you say is required. Yep. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned today, this won't be going ahead today. You've got to understand from her point and of you, view. I understand what you're saying. Actually, all um, the ones I've been to before, because this is a letter from the claimant, from the solicitor, to say it's going to happen at 12 o'clock. Now right. she's given me the wrong documentation. There's a, there's a you have the right documentation. Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> You've just there's, spent 15 minutes telling me I've got, got the right the, documentation you, and you haven't got let the right show, letter. Let me, let me show you on the phone because it's... No, it's, no, no, I need to see, no. I need to see yeah, a paper yeah, yeah. one. I don't <laughs> want to see anything I'll on the phone. I need to see a real document. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, let me what we're going to do, we are going to do this. Let me just quickly show you what it is. Because I've got to be honest with you. Let me quickly show you. Because normally, once, because the claim is put an application into court and it's been to court and they've got to obtain the possession or whatever, the claimant is duty bound to notify the parties of the application and the, a, provide a copy of the court order that's been issued by the court, that's been sealed by the court, okay. on what date to send it over. Do you know all they've done? Walker Morris. They've sent, um, where is it? It's on the third page. You can, you, oh, you, you'll laugh at this. Bank of Scotland, PLC, property in possession. This is on the third page. And they take notice when the company obtains possession. So Walker Morris have sent a two page letter. There's no name, there's no date or nothing. I could type that, you can type that. That yeah. is not satisfactory enough for them to know. That's the always something that she needs to take out of a walk from exactly. Morris. Yeah, yeah. That's nothing to I'm do just here to we make sure that, that, that what, the, what the claimant solicitors do. Can you tell us who instructed you from Walker Morris? I can't tell you. We're not instructed by Walker Morris, we're instructed by the court. We're they just, directly operate, we're directly they just get employed a job. by they're the going, court. They go in the morning, they get and a we job, get a list, job and there's that one there. Can you tell me who your line manager at the court is? My line manager is, yeah. is the delivery manager, or is the operations yep. manager, Anne O'Neill. Anne O'Neill. Yeah. And is he, is he the operations manager for Brentford? For Brentford County. Brent, Brentford County Court. And who does she answer to? She answers to the, the regional manager. Who, who would that be? Jones. Is it Mrs. Jones or? Right. It, it, listen, I, I'm not here trying to be obstructive in any way. Well, you should, I'm just, you're doing I'm just, a good job of it. I just, I just, <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to make sure that everyone's got the ducks in a row, yeah, like yeah. I say, because there is, a, there is a process, and I've been involved okay. in this several times before, as you can probably yeah. understand, and every single case where, like you say, obstruction enforcing officer yeah, yeah. in the execution of his duty, every single one of them has gone to Crown Court, and every single one has gone to Crown Court, the judge has ordered the bailiffs to produce the warrant, the documentation they relied mm. upon to force entry to the property. Yeah. Mm. And every time they've produced that document that you've showed me, yeah. and the judge said, no, that's not the document. And every single time it's been thrown out, and, well, then, and then, the, then the person's been awarded. I just don't want to, listen, if we can, we can go down that road, but we're talking two or three years down the line, yeah. we're all going to get in court, it's all going to get thrown out, so let's avoid it. Because then it'll be a claim against so you and your just, company. That's what I mean. We, we work directly for the Ministry of Justice. Yeah. We're not yeah. private guys. That yeah, I know, no, no, these, these that. We can, can, we, yeah. can we also add two other bits? One, you've got proprietary of stop on this. 
which is a, a, a legal standing. Really and, 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 and the other thing is, with this, and the other thing is, unless we've got an order from the court, unless we've got an order from the court, so there's a stay of enforcement because of what's his name, an order from the court to put a stay, or there's an abusive process, or like we're discussing now, we need to make sure that all the correct documentation and, sure. and the procedure yeah. being followed. You, you've also got adverse possession it go, because it's over 12 days, years. She has. Like, like I say, we're going to postpone yeah. it this morning. Yeah. Okay.